So in this video, we will learn how to create a static mesh location using a scratch pad. So right click, take a Niagara. Let's take the fountain. And we have this fountain. I'll delete some modules. Although we have already static mesh location module that you can use, but you should know the uh, how it uses that nodes how to create your own static mesh location. Sometimes it is very useful because uh, this is not, uh, this module doesn't have everything that you may require. Maybe you require something different. So you can experiment in that. So let's say you have this and I take the scratch pad. Okay, you can rename it my static mesh location that you have created okay so here it is then click here or you can search static mesh and there will be two static mesh one is data interface and one is object you need to take this data interface okay uh, i'll show you the difference if you check the tooltip it is type static mesh and module name is module dot new static mesh and if you take that object it shows you the same thing but the difference is when you drag this node you have this static mesh and you can use these all nodes but in this object one you don't have that so the use of this uh, i will make an other video we will clear that in another video but remove that you need to take this data interface then here you can go here or you can just search here triangle so you will find this get triangle uv and if you are using ue4 so there can be something different here uh, that we use in ue4 and this is ue5 so if you want to do that in ue4 almost same thing but you can check out my different videos i have already static mesh location tutorial in ue4 so after this, oh no, did not this. You need to take this get triangle. Okay. It will have the position velocity normal by tangent and tangent. Then it required triangle and binary chords. So in UE4, when you take the get triangle WS, it will sh uh, show you the same thing here, but here it needs uh, tri coordinates, not triangles. So you need to search here random triangle and in ue4 you will search random tri coordinates and in that node you will have just one output that you need to connect here it has two outputs and one input uh, also so in if you are doing ue4 okay so you need to connect these two here and this random information you can connect here but uh, don't use it directly here i'll show you why so after this it has the position so just take the position or you you can make your uh, custom vector here that you can use in your position outside that okay but i'll take the direct position of our deal apply and it will ask you uh, for the mesh and here if you directly connect this random information it will show you this seed one two three okay so let's put a mesh that like this cube you can put it in default and preview and see nothing is happening but if you'll change these seeds it's changing the position of particles and you need to do that in three so the better is just take here integer and then connect it to the random it will convert that but it will link all three seeds to just one parameter so this is your random info okay hit apply now you have just one value you can change it so you can randomize it from zero to a higher value and you will see your particle are already spawning on the box so if i drag this and because i'm using that scratch more scratch pen module here in the spawn it will just use the spawning position but if I drag it, you can see the particle leaving trail behind because they are just spawning on that box location, but they are not following that. So if you want to 
stuck that particle there you need to just move it here in update so every frame it will check if the particle position should be the box triangle position so now you can see the difference in working in spawn and update so this is the difference okay so next thing let's say you have spawn burst and i have lots of particles like 1000 and you have this box let's make the life infinite and let's make the ones and that's it so you have this so first i want to rotate that box so you want it like 90 or 45 degree any degree or whatever degree you want to rotate so to rotate the location what you need to do go to here in the scratch pad move it here so we got this position so what you need to do take the Euler 2 quaternion and you can use three axes as an input so you can uh, put the value which axis you want to rotate your location there you need to take the multiply vector with quart and this is your quart and this position is your vector it will convert position to vector then when you connect it here it will again connect uh, convert and just hit apply you have this yaw oh okay pitch is here so pitch your roll and you can now rotate see you can also multiply it with the edge and it will now rotate it so you have now box location animation also here you can see also it is rotating So any axis you want to rotate, you can do that. Second thing, if you want to move the particle on the normal of that, like in the box, you have uh, like you have the normals here. So what you can do, you can multiply that normal with a float or with different axis. So you can take a vector here, and whatever you get, you can add that thing to your position and then connect it here so this is your normal so we can call it offset because particle will offset from the normal so now we have this x y and z and you can see if i put the 50 on x 50 offset on y 50 offset on z because this is box so every face is, is just moving uh, like uh, separately but if you take the different thing like a character like a character you can copy and paste it here also so in the character and let me increase the particle rate for now you can see the difference so let's make this vector a float and this is one and if i increasing the value the particle are moving to the normal so you can see the character is now like little fatty and you can make it also negative okay so you can do that with normals the next thing is we have checked rotation we have checked the offset next thing is scale if you want to scale this overall shape on any axis what you can do that is very simple you just need to multiply your large position output connect it here and make it vector and then connect it here and this will be your scale hit enter and apply so now this is zero you need to make it one and now you can make it like five two on any axis okay and if you make it float so now you can just make it overall bigger uniform scale so now we have checked how to create the static mesh location through scratch pad module how to rotate that how to offset that and scale that but that's it for now next in next video we will cover other things through scratch pad so bye bye take care